Hi, my name is Ali Hamza, and this is Hamza Drawings, where I draw stuff, and you just watch and enjoy. So, uh, today we are going to draw giraffes, and why giraffes, man? Like, why animals? Well, uh, well, it's the holidays right now, where I live, and, well, I'm quite lonely, man. I don't really have anything to do, I don't really have any friends to go out with, you know, at the moment, you know. And I honestly wish school came back But well, here we are just drawing giraffes So, well, uh, while I was drawing the giraffes, right I kind of noticed something Well, the giraffes, right They actually look like uh, well, th- well, their bone structure is very similar to a horse And that's because I've drawn horses before I think there's a video that I'm going to be making soon About, you know, horses I hope so Anyway, you know, I think I'm talking too much uh, It was actually quite easy, I think to draw a giraffe compared to a horse because like a horse right they kind of uh, they kind of have those strings you know those uh, straps for the riders you know to like uh, you know grab on and yeah drawing giraffe is much easier because they don't have that they only have like this I think patches and their bone structure right it is it's very simple it's very simplified it's not as complicated as a horse which I really really like so yeah, at this moment, right, I'm kind of uh, just coloring the sketch in red lines using alpha log because, uh, well, I think I watched this uh, sketch session, and in this sketch session, you know, they kind of use like red pencils and blue pencils, and I think it really gave a nice look to the drawing. So yeah, I think that's what I'm doing now, but I actually don't do it later. I think. I think I use blue. Yeah. Well, it doesn't really matter. I think it just is just cool. And maybe I might do it again. Maybe I might do it later. I do not know. Yeah. Now I'm drawing the eyes. And yeah, it's very simple. It's very nice. And you know, line lines. Oh, okay. You see that double line, okay? Most people would like freak out like, ah, no double line. But you know, I like the double line. It's kind of cool. It adds like a unique style to my drawings And yeah, I I think you might see it a lot of times later Yeah, so at this moment, right, uh, it's I think 7.47pm and I'm at home And I'm kind of recording this because I didn't record my voice just now I prefer to like really focus on the drawing And yeah, I don't really speak that much I just listen to a lot of music, like jazz music, you know, because I'm a... I like jazz, okay, jazz is entertaining, like Chad Baker, John Coltrane, you know, and uh, Ella Fitzgerald, Billy Holiday, I'm like really a fan of uh, Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong because I think that their voice is just like amazing, yeah, their voice is amazing and they actually like collaborated on this uh, album, it's called I think... Well, I'm not really sure what the album is called. I think I, I'm not really good with remembering names of albums. But I know a song that they made. I think it's called like "Oops, da 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 da." Yeah, I can't really like oh, sing it because of like copyright stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I just knew about this copyright. I just knew about this copyright stuff. I think some time ago because I was watching the Real Rejects. And the Real Rejects, you know, they're basically like a reaction channel. They kind of react to trailers and stuff. And the thing is, right, I think there were, I think there was a problem. And then I think uh, YouTube like was like, copyright, you know, you're singing the song and it sounds, you know, like the original song. Therefore, you know, they want to steal the right to stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. So, <laughs> oh man, I'm rambling. But anyways, uh, back to jazz. I think I really like the way I'm strong in his voice. One of my favorite songs from him. One of my favorite songs from him is What a Wonderful World And uh, What a Wonderful World is very famous And I love it because it's very positive It has a positive outlook on the future And another one of my favorites is I think La Viandros I mean La Viandros is, well, it's damn romantic And I wish it was playing, you know When I have a girlfriend, I don't really have a girlfriend right now Yeah, I wish I had one it feels well my days they kind of feel lonely but I don't think I actually want a girlfriend that, that now I just want a friend that I can like speak to regularly on a regular basis you know 
But yeah, that doesn't happen to me. Maybe uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just wait. You know, I mean, uh, I don't have friends that would go out with me like constantly or talk to me constantly. You know, but I have some people you know that I really like talking to, and they kind of like you know talk to me for a while. Most of them are very busy, so, you know. So you know, most of them are very busy. So it's just like you know for a while and stuff. Well, uh, back to the drawing. Now you see, right? I'm actually like doing this uh, grayscale thing, and I like grayscale because it's very easy. I don't really have to think about the colors. And what I did just now was, right? I just like color the drawing, and then I'm just erasing the gray that is outside. So, uh, yeah, I actually didn't use the lasso tool because I really prefer to, you know. Uh, color it with the apple pencil you know just like stroke by stroke I think lasso is like a bit too easy and yeah it's, it's, it's not, it is not really enjoyable and I think I only use lasso if I am on a deadline and talking about deadlines man I wish I had like uh, freelance stuff but I'm not really that famous you know on uh, Instagram oh uh, yeah or you know other fa- other platforms I, I don't know why maybe it's because I do a lot of original artwork or maybe you know uh, there's like some other reason but yeah right now I'm just working and yeah I just hope that you know things become better for me uh, later in the future anyway so what I'm doing now is uh, you can see that I'm painting the I think uh, outside of the patches white and now I'm coloring it the gray so that it kind of matches it kind of like you know it's very seamless and it makes the giraffe look like a uh, giraffe I'm not really sure what to say about it yeah but uh, I really like the rough texture I think of the pencil which I'm doing it which I, I think I'm putting on the paper I like the rough texture because the rough texture makes it look like it was made on paper so I think uh, as I'm drawing this right uh, well what do I say I don't know what to say I think it's just very enjoyable to draw animals you know you just it's very new and it's very therapeutic I think because that is exactly how I felt when I did this drawing it just like I felt calm because you know you color the patches like slowly color the things slowly you know you're not really like on a you, I'm here, you know, I'm not really rushing compared to my other pieces, you know, where I just like rush and draw, you know. And I think the reason why I rush for my other drawings is because I want to have that like excitement in the artwork. And here, yeah, you know, I don't think I'm aiming for that right here, you know, I'm just aiming like how do I draw animals? I don't know how to draw animals, like how to draw animals. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, man, giraffes. And I actually want to do more research about them because to me, right, it's very cool like how long their necks are. Like, what? I mean, they kind of remind me of like this dinosaur called the the Diplocus. I, I do not know the name of the dinosaur, but I know the dinosaur had a very long neck and it was very very big. It was much bigger than a human, but you know. Talking about dinosaurs, I think most dinosaurs are very big and much bigger than a human. T-Rex is bigger than a human. And of course, you know, there were some dinosaurs that were much smaller than us, I think. Or uh, the same size as an ostrich. I think there was the Velo- Velocera... Hmm, I do not know the name. Let me search. Velociraptor. I think that is the name. I mean, from what I've seen, I think they are like... Yeah, the the Velociraptor. Yes, I think right. Uh, they are the same size as as an ostrich. I think so. I don't know. I'm not like an expert on dinosaurs, but I'm probably gonna find out more, and I'm probably gonna draw them much later. I think. So right now I'm just like rambling and rambling. Okay. Uh, talking about the drawing now, uh, okay, I think some things that I can talk about is now, right, I'm kind of filling out the fine details and the, uh, you know, very fine lighting. Because uh, lighting, right, in real life, it isn't like hard. Unless, you know, we're talking about hard light. I think most things, you know, are in soft light and... Yeah, soft light. And I think like soft light really makes your drawings look much more realistic. And, well, just... 
cool to look at so yeah right now i'm just like, adding all the final touches to the lighting you know on the side because i think that's the i found out about this like some time ago and you know it just look cool so right now right i'm very thirsty and i am going to get a drink now so yeah just uh wait while i drink my water and yes the my water bottle is in my hand i am going to drink it now and you just heard that popping and and yes i have drunk my water anyways let us get back to the drawing so as you can see right i actually wrote the giraffe and it's just cool man like the giraffe yeah so now i'm going to uh do another drawing of a giraffe and this time you know it's actually the blue sketch which i was talking about just now and i think this will be very enjoyable to watch you know because i think i was kind of adjusting the neck uh many times because i wasn't really like satisfied on how the neck looks it looked very similar to a horse which i did not want it to look similar to a horse because i think horses right they also have like uh rather long necks but not as long as a giraffe so as you can see right now right i'm just like drawing the outlines and I, yeah, and I'm like thinking about the process, and there's the muscle, you know, I think that connects to the to the giraffe's mouth. So yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up. Sound effects. Yeah. So when I draw, right, I don't exactly like have guidelines. I don't like draw, because uh, drawing is much more fun. Because I think uh, when you draw animals, right, most people they kind of have a. Uh, they kind of draw the eye line first and they draw you know the middle of the head of the skull you know just to you know put the ear or what or figure out for me i just want to draw i don't really care about that stuff uh i mean wh what i see i draw <laughs> what i see i draw and i don't really think that much about you know construction lights because i think like thinking too much about construction lights they kind of like mess up your work yeah, and it's like so much work, you know, to draw construction lines. For me, I just want very simple construction lines. So afterwards, right, when I want to ink, right, I just like, uh, you know, I can just go straight into it. I don't really have to worry about, oh man, I think it's going to look like, eh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think, I don't think what I say makes sense at all. But now, you know, I'm adjusting the neck. I'm like, uh, this neck looks iffy. Oh no, you are okay. I'm enlarging it. Oh no, I'm... Just touching it. Oh wait. Yeah, mistakes, mistakes. Well, this is sad to do it. <laughs> okay, now it's back to its normal. And yeah, and at this moment, right, I thought it well, It really looks like a horse. I do not want it to look like a horse. I do not want it to look like a horse. So now I'm adjusting the neck. I'm making sure the neck. Oh man, it's thin and it's long. It's thin and it's long. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh man. Now, so I think it looks pretty good right now. And I'm using the lasso tool for whatever reason to make it smaller. And I think I'm probably gonna change the head though. I think the head's too big. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, see at this moment it looks like horse. I don't know what they do. So I'm like adjusting. Oh okay, uh wait, what is the correct angle? What is the correct angle? Okay, and now I'm like, okay, okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Oh, 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 oh my, oh my, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yes, see? And now the neck, I think, looks like a neck of a giraffe. And I sincerely hope that I make the head smaller. I think the head is too big. Now I'm just, you know, drawing the legs, making sure it looks awesome. Like me. <laughs> and yeah, and now I'm just gonna ink it. Yeah. With the Narinda pencil, and yeah, I think previously, right, I started to use this 6B pencil which was in Procreate. And the thing about the 6B pencil is that it's very rough, and the strokes, right, they don't look exactly like appealing because, well, they are very rough. But for the pencil, right, for this type of pencil that I'm using now, it's very thin strokes, 
and I can do much more with thin strokes because when you draw eyes on a very small figure, right? The 6B pencil, right? You can barely see the eyes. You, can, you just like see like some shadows. But by here, you know, I can go into the finer details, which I love because finer details is what I'm about. And right here, you know, it's my, uh, you know, giraffe. It looks very cool. And I'm about to draw the patches soon. And I think the patches will look amazing. They will look awesome. Because I drew this like, I'm hours ago, so I don't really have a good memory of what I exactly did. But well, I hope that it looks good. So you can see the rough outline. And right now it doesn't look that good. But now I'm adding the shadows. I'm making it look sexy. Yeah, so like those are some lines. And now I'm adding the patches, which is my favorite thing on drawing giraffes from this, you know, sketch session. I love the patches. I love it, love it, love it so much. And you know why I love it so much? It's because of the spaces between the patches. They are very satisfying, man, actually, the uh, spaces within their patches. I hope that I could have done as, as good as the uh, photograph that I you know, took this from. Yeah, so patches, patches, patches look good, yeah, The patches look awesome. And it's just like this. I think there's something very satisfying about drawing things again and again and again and again and, again and really like forming that pattern. I think as human beings, right, we like patterns, we like uh, shapes, they just look perfect. And yeah, just drawing this again and again was just like very therapeutic for me. It really calmed me, I think. I think doing things again and again, you know, just like calms you down. And doesn't really make you think about anything else. It just make you think about the task that you are doing at the moment. So, uh, as you can see now, right, I'm going to be paying it in grayscale again. And it's going to be as satisfying as the first drawing. So, I mean, you can notice here, right, that I'm starting on, like, on a lighter gray. And the reason why I'm starting on a lighter gray is because, right, this giraffe is in sunlight. And... Yeah, that's actually just lighter gray. If it's, like... If it's in a very dark place, you know, then I use dark colors, obviously. Yeah. So I just... So I apply the colors. Sound effects. Oh, what am I doing, man? I haven't really done this before, so this is gonna be very weird, this video. I mean, you, you can actually just switch up my commentary, man, and just like watch the video. I mean, if that's what you want to do. Yeah. So, I'm probably gonna do another drawing of animals, because I think... Okay. I hope you can't hear that, but you know, a motorcycle just passed my house. And you know, most of the days, you know, yeah, there's a lot of vehicles that pass through my house. And it's very noisy where I live, you know. And I don't think this recording is gonna come out like crisp and clear because I don't live in a place that is that quiet. I mean, uh, I like the noise sometimes, you know, because it does get very lonely at home, you know, it gets very quiet and I'm just afraid like there's any ghosts, you know, just to like hunt me down and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think the noise really makes me feel better and listening to music like every day, it's just, it calms me down. It calms me down. Anyway, uh, in other news, I went out today to the library and let me tell you about an incident that actually happened at the library. So, while I was in the library, right? And the thing is, you know, I sit at my desk for a very long time. I sit at my desk, I sit at my desk every day. And, you know, I just draw and draw and draw, you know, and I don't really exercise. So, this is what happened. When I went to the library, I wanted to find this book. 
And I was bending down right then suddenly right my f- my thighs just hurt. Okay, my thighs they just hurt because I haven't really exercised man and they like hurt like oh my they hurt like hell man and you know I just said to myself dude you gotta exercise you got to exercise you got to squat you got to do you know push-ups and stuff so well that was reminded to me that I really had to exercise and the thing is you know I actually don't really have to exercise that much because I have high metabolism which means you know I consume food much faster and yeah I just consume food much much faster and I'm thin for most of the time so I don't really think oh I have to exercise and I have to do that stuff but today I found out well I have to do that okay I have to do that otherwise when I'm doing much more strenuous exercise I am going to hurt myself badly and yeah from now on I've got to do exercises 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 yes yes not exercises is exercises yeah i think that's how the americans pronounce it i think yeah exercises you know with the z with the z sound man with the z because z sound sounds cool so as you can see right right now uh looking at the giraffe looking at the second giraffe i am adding the finer details again and i think the finer details oh man i just noticed that i missed like two patches oh crap Oh no. Well, I didn't notice it just now, but I don't think it really matters right now. I think, uh, yeah. So, adding those fine details to the hair of the giraffe. And I think it looks magnificent. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I went back and I went back and I fixed those patches. Yes. Yes. I fixed those patches, man. You can notice that I'm really overexcited. I'm not like those like chill YouTubers like, Hey guys, uh, yeah, so t- today we're gonna draw stuff. And we're gonna draw like, you know, uh, stuff. And I'm gonna be talking about stuff, you know, like in this very low voice. And you guys like feel calm. No, uh, I mean, I like listening to those, okay? But I don't think I'm that type of person. When I do this kind of stuff like, you know, uh, scare sessions, you know, I'm really like excited because I am that kind of person. I'm a very... Well, when I speak, you know, I kind of speak like this, you know, like very excited and very passionate, very lively. And, ah, well, that is just the way that I am as a person. I like talking like this. And it's because, right, uh, in real life, I don't really talk that much. And I just wish I talk then. I just wish I talk more. And, you know, when I talk to people, I kind of speak to them in this low voice because I'm not really comfortable with people that I don't really know well, you know. I'm much more comfortable with people that, uh, well, at least have, like, a similar interest, you know, and they don't really speak that loudly, you know. They're not really boisterous, you know, and they're really, like, you know, introvert and stuff. I think I really like that kind of vibe, but <laughs> it's a bit strange, you know. I like people that are, you know, quiet, you know, but yet I am very excited when i speak about stuff and actually right i think right when i speak to people normally i think i'm like very cool but when i'm speaking about things that i really like you know like animation or like drawings you know i think i'm really uh i've got a lot of oh, I, I have a lot of energy in me i think when it comes to uh speaking about stuff that i like and i think I think some people are like that. Some people, you know, they're like, you know, very chill. And they kind of like speak like this, yeah. So right now, right, uh, I decided that drawing the drums was a bit tiring. So maybe, you know, I wanted to add like this reaction from a uh, human being. So the first drawing, the first drawing that I had in mind was this boy and he was smiling. But, you know, he doesn't really look like he's smiling. He looks more like he's in pain. Yeah. Uh, so I just like erase. Ah, no, bad face. <laughs> okay, so it's it's not a bad face. It's just like a bad drawing. So now I think I'm going to be drawing a girl, and yeah, it's going to be like a very chill girl, and then she's going to have like eye bags under it, you know, and then she's going to be like cool. Whoa, giraffes are cool, man. I'm like whoa, I like giraffes, and I'm like but you know I'm not going to be uh, speaking like this. I'm going to be like chill. Oh man, giraffes are cool, man. I like giraffes. And I'm gonna be wearing a beanie because beanies are cool. I like beanies. Now talking about beanies, right? I used to wear many beanies, but then I found out like too hot, too hot. You know, it's like very suffocating. So right now, right, I just like wear 
are caps and let us find that caps they're much better than beanies I think yeah I think that's my opinion that is my opinion that is my personal opinion I think uh, caps you know they're amazing I've been wearing a blue cap I think uh, there is a code that says you know uh, you know what they say no pain no gain and then there's other codes like no one is wise at all times and I just like uh, I, I, I like the cap and it kind of reminds me of uh, Annabeth I think Annabeth Chase I think she had a blue hat in the Percy Jackson series yeah uh, so I think like you know I really like caps now the type of hats you know that I really admire and would like to try you know sometime is those like uh, 1940s hats that they used to wear I think uh, in the 1940s and the 1950s I'm really a big fan of the 1940s and 1950s like fashion because I just feel that it's uh, very sharp you know in the way that they dress in the suit that they wear right, it's just very sharp very neat and well they just look awesome they just look like amazing you know when you look at them you know uh, the 1940s and 1950s suits you know I'm talking about uh, suits more of suits yeah I just think they look amazing yeah and actually right uh, I wear like a blazer and most people well they, they think that I'm weird because well I live in Singapore and Singapore is very hot but for me right from childhood from childhood I was always cold and since you know I'm always cold you know I like wearing jackets and I find that wearing wool jackets right it is too hot then wearing like uh, the windbreaker right it's too hot so I wear blazers and the thing is right I really like blazers because blazers well they just look cool man and I like wearing black because when you wear black right it's like whoa okay you look amazing in black and yeah I haven't really like worn yellow or you know red or blue like constantly I'm always wearing black and I just feel like that black you know it has a very clean look and for me right I'm all about the slickness and the sharpness you know of what you wear because it's very presentable and it just makes me feel like badass in a way uh, yeah, it just makes me feel like whoa I'm awesome, you know. I'm like one of those characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. I think uh, there was this dude, you know, he just dresses very, very nice. And. He, oh, man. I forgot the name. Uh, yeah, I'm searching right now. Oh, uh, man. What is the name? Yeah, Nanami, bro. Nanami is like, whoa, he's. He, the way that he dresses, right, is amazing. And I just like the way that he dresses, I think. I think Jujutsu Kaisen, right, it has the best costumes and they really have style, you know, when they kind of dress the characters. It's not too much, you know, and it's not too little. It's just, like, very perfect. And it's, it is not, like, greatly exaggerated like uh, many other anime, you know, in terms of the, uh, you know, clothes. The clothes that they wear, right, they're very simple, you know, and I think it's very suitable that their clothes are very simple because uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, right? If you do not know what Jujutsu Kaisen is, I advise you to watch it. If you have Netflix, you know, or you, know, you have YouTube, ch- ch- check it out, check it out. It's very cool, okay? And I think, right, I really like the simplicity of the outfits and, uh, well, it gives like the animators more focus towards the action, which is very prevalent in the anime and in the manga right in the manga in the, in the Jujutsu Kaisen manga I think it also helps the author uh, really focus on the action instead of the you know clothes that they wear yeah I think, I think Jujutsu Kaisen is a very cool show you know and I love many characters from it I think I like uh, Itadori Yuji because well he's he's cool you know he's a cool character you know and he's funny and I like his relationship with Satoru Gojo, you know. And Gojo is like, bro, he's the coolest character. He's like the OP, bro. He's like overpowered character. And he's just like very cool. And he has that kind of like sassiness, you know. And like, uh, yeah, that's awesome, man. Whew. Okay, I'm very, very tired because I haven't spoken for this long. It's almost like 30 minutes. I'm like, whoa. Okay, so right now, right, as you can see, right, I think I'm doing my almost like last drawing of a uh, giraffe and now you know I'm just like really focusing on the head 
I'm not really, you know, th- there's no like neck, you know, and I think the neck is going to come in later. Now, right, I just want to focus on the finer, 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 finer details of the beautiful face of the giraffe. And I, well, I think at this stage, right, I thought like, oh man, it looks like ugly, you know, because I'm not a good draw. <laughs> okay, that's that. I'm not a good, you know, uh, draftsman. I think there's a term, I don't know. Uh, Yeah, but I think as it goes along, right, I think it will look much better. Which it did, which it did, which it did. Oh man, I'm repeating myself too much. I think next time I should go like the the calmer route, you know, when I'm like speaking about stuff. Because now, right, my throat is really, really burning. Oh man. Yeah, I think I spoke too too much and too fast. I have to relax later. I hope my uh, I hope my edi- editing software can handle this man Because like Oh man It's like freaking 30 minutes Of me just like speaking and speaking And speaking and speaking and speaking And then you know Like sketching and sketching and sketching and sketching Oh man This is like the first time And I think if this goes well Right If I am able to edit this And like post it on uh, YouTube Alright I think I might think more And maybe you know uh, You might see more Like uh I think sketches of uh, s- sketches or you know digital art pieces of other characters, maybe Marvel characters like Spider Man and sorry, excuse me, and Batman, because well, I just love I just love Batman and I love Spider Man. I think Batman, right? He's one of the most Amazing and incredible characters And also tragic characters Because if you know Batman You know you know Batman's parents were killed in an alley And there are like so many stories man, Where we kind of see his parents being killed And we see Batman You know he's like a little boy And you know he's fighting You know to save the city from itself And the crimes and stuff I think every Batman story that I've seen right, Is just like phenomenal Every Batman movie that I've seen is just amazing And his action is amazing And yeah, I just really love Batman. He's just very cool. And well, there was actually the other time where I watched Superman. And I am getting, I am slowly getting into Superman. And I think I might be watching Superman soon. I think, yeah, I think there was like this new Superman series that came out. I think the CW, yeah. yeah. I think, I think uh, Tyler, Tyler Hua, Tyler Hoeklin, I think, is that how you pronounce his name? I think he's, um, well, he's an interesting choice. He's an interesting choice. I haven't really watched him in Superman yet. I know that he has been Superman, you know, for some time already. And I am going to watch the Superman series. And I think I'll get back to you guys, I think, afterwards, after I, you know, finish uh, this video. So yeah, Tyler Hoeklin has also been in Teen Wolf, and yeah, I, I yo, I actually tried watching Teen Wolf. I uh, just that I'm not really into it, I guess, because like the too sexy, I guess. To be too, the actors look too beautiful, I like, think. To me, yeah, they just look like whoa, they look amazing, but you know, they don't really look like me. You know, therefore, you know, and there's a bit of disconnection between them. So right now, right, I'm just like drawing this very terrible cap. Uh, very terrible giraffes And yeah I think I'm just gonna like, Fast forward Yeah uh, yeah You know Drawing drawing stuff And now you know I'm painting The giraffe Just like all the other drawings That I did Before And you know Adding the finer details I think we can like You know uh, Speed up this Drawing And yeah see uh, Yeah I'm doing it again Just focusing on the details Coloring the black Adding those, you know, painting it, really building it, and then afterwards, right, I'm gonna add this like speech bubble to it. Like, oh, uh, giraffes, just giraffes, sigh, and you know, like, whoa, we just like giraffes, giraffes, man, just giraffes, whoa, <sighs> yeah, so yeah. I think we are nearing to the end of the video, and yeah, let me just fast forward again. And yeah, I'm just adding these circles behind the giraffes just to make them look 
just to well make them stand out from the background and then you know I'm waiting with the other the other the other circles <laughs> yeah then I'm like hurrying the speech bubble and I did I really like the speech bubble and yeah I think that's all for today I really hope that you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like comment subscribe you know do what you need to do and please 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 smash that like button man and yeah I hope that you I, I hope that you had a good time I know that I'm a bit weird you know but hey if you like this thing you know I'm very happy and if you don't like it well you know be polite don't really say it out loud and you know maybe you know uh you know say your opinion in a nice way you know not no you know vulgarities no like oh you suck man don't do this again uh yeah man uh like you know chill chill okay yeah and yeah have a nice day bye bye